Hello, we're on the River Thames today, right in the middle of Oxford. And as you can see, it's quite flooded. And what we're going to do, we're going to ball it with ground bait, give it some, and hope to catch some bream. So as you can see, the river is really flowing in chocolate at the minute. So the way that I've fed it is a half soil and half ground bait mix. I've used two bags of river, a bag of roach, and made up the rest with soil. It's a really, really sticky mix. And I've chucked in 10 at the start, 10 big balls with no bait in at all. And then very, very accurately, I've cupped in another six, which was rich with bait. Uh, and I've topped it up throughout the day with the feeder, obviously. So it's, it's a lot more accurate than fishing a feeder on a running line today. So this is what we've got, the pole feeder rig. We've got a drenin oval feeder with a flat bottom for holding the bottom in this really, really strong flow. As you can see, there's a lot of colour and we're fishing for big fish, really. Uh, we've got 018 to a 12 carbon feeder, about a three foot hook length. So what I'm doing today is I'm using the side puller bead just to loop my line round when fishing a pole feeder because I help to keep it up off the water. I'm just going to ship out. What I'm doing is I'm plopping the feeder in, make a little bit of noise, and hopefully, especially on this flooded river, help to attract some fish. So this is what I use for the bite detector for the pole feeder. I've got a very, very big connector, orange connector, that is very, very visible. And then whenever you have your pole feeder out in the water, that, this is how it will look. So as this line, you have a big loop in it. And as you get the bite, it will come like this. So you, you'll have this moving, and then eventually that will straighten out and you'll play the fish off of your main line. And that line through there is just your main line. Oh yes, first bream. Coming up, about two and a half pound, I think. And it's in the net. Hopefully, first of many. So we brought a selection of baits with us today. We've brought maggots, pinkies, worms, and casters. And we've tried all on hook, we found definitely a worm tipped off with a bronze maggot was a lot better than what with a red maggot was. Uh, it's just a lot more visible and obviously in this coloured water makes a massive difference. We tried maggots on the hook, uh, we've tried reds, we've tried bronze, we've tried bunches uh, and this has by far been the better bait, a much bigger bait for these conditions. We are fishing for big fish. Had a great day today on the river. We've had three clonking roach. I'll be up to about 14 ounces. We had three bream as well. Best one there, probably pushing about three pounds. It just proves that on a river in the winter when it's flooded that you can have a really, really good day. It's the perfect method in the winter catching quality fish. Mm -hmm. 